Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use black and white images as a mask and fill with any color you want. So in this case, I start with the image, such as a black and white image on, uh, of this panda. So you select that image, copy image, and then you go to Photoshop. So, um, Photoshop will automatically open the clipboard that will be the same size of whatever you copy from. So in this case, clipboard is about the size of that panda that I copy, and it's also in black and white. Okay, so you have that image on to that. So you go to. Uh, press image all right so in this case here you got the black and white panda so if you like to if you like to use this as a mask or the idea I'm going to use this black and white image as a mask so um, I can create a new canvas whatever size you want uh -huh. so in this case here uh, I'm just going to keep using the same size of clipboard and in this particular sample we're going to change not only create the mask or make selection out of the black and white image we're going to change the color of the panda as well so if we want to change the color we need to uh, change it to color space RGB right and the background is white okay so now I have black and white panda on my clipboard so I go to quick mask mode right here so you click to get into quick math so you look at this when you get into the quick math it will become black and white only so in this case here, I'm going to press image. So when I press image, right, whatever is black is going to be blocked. Whatever is white is going to be see through. So my plan is I'm going to change the black color of the, the panda and, you know, the color of the type, something like that. So in this case here, if I activate or exit the quick mask, so the the black and white will will become uh, the white part will become selected. So in this case here, I want opposite, you know. So I just go to image adjustment and inward or control I. So now I have my panda is in white, and then I go out. From the quick mass mode so whatever is white is become selected uh -huh. so now I can feel any color onto this part uh, I can use the new layer by clicking on the new layer icon and then select whatever color I want for example like I want a blue so I can feel the color by alternate delete or alternate backspace or I can go to edit and fill it with foreground color the same thing right so now you have this black and white uh, panda into whatever color you like you know and also that also become um, that also the main idea that we using stencil or quick mass mode so now I'm going to go to select and deselect or control D or command D on the Macintosh All right so now I can deselect uh, or you know hide the background so this image right so I got the black and white panda into the blue panda and the background become transparent so you can apply this technique to the logo 
or anything you like. That will be very useful. Thank you.